Home repairs don't have to be scary, but when you start hearing the creepy sounds and noticing funny smells, it is time to take action. Ooh, okay, and I caught up with an expert to get some advice on how to keep your home in tip top shape. So Mark, how can one assess the origin behind creepy sounds and spooky smells coming from appliances that are not working too well? Uh, you know what? Ooh, all the goose and ghosts and goblins are out here. Let's talk about some of the things that happen in the house. So first, let's talk about the electrical side of the business. So you get flickering lights. Is that a ghost? What? No, it's just a power surge. A lot of times when your HVAC system pops on or large appliances pop on, uh, your lights will flicker. No worries. That's common. However, if your lights are flickering and none of those things are working, are running, well, you may have a bigger issue. You're gonna to wanna to have a professional come and take a look at what that looks like. When you go to the plumbing side of the home, well, there's some weird sounds and smells coming out of those uh, sink drains, right? Uh -huh. So you hear a gurgling, that's not really a ghost in there. That's just that your air vent is actually clogged that goes out of the roof. So you wanna have a professional come and unclog that, please don't climb on top of the house. That's dangerous. Let's leave that to the professionals. And then last but not least, it's starting to get a little cool. You're going to have those heaters coming on, the furnaces for that very first time. When it clicks on, you may hear a little click, click, click. That's okay. That's normal. But what you may smell is a rotten egg. And if you smell that, that's natural gas. You're going to want to turn that furnace off, have that checked out, open up the windows, air out the house, and make sure you and your family stay safe. Very good. Yeah, so it's not the haunted house, so to speak. Just leave it to the professionals, and who are you going to call? Okay, it's the <laughs> professionals. <laughs> Why? Uh, let's go into this. Why is preventative <laughs> maintenance it. key? Why is that preventative maintenance key to keeping our home looking the best? So it's, it's kind of like taking care of yourself, right? You want to make sure you get a checkup. And so you want to make sure you do that with the home as well. So you're going to want once a year electrical checkup. You're going to want to have a plumbing checkup once a year. And then you're going to want to make sure that your HVAC system and your furnace is checked up twice a year. Usually those things break or go down at the worst possible time. And that's usually when you're having a party or family and friends are, are over. So let's make sure they're in good working order. They're safe for you and your family. Uh, and get that done early on before you start really heavy using that furnace uh, during the wintertime. Very good. Now let's talk about the cooler months. I mean, it's been hot down here in the deep south here. Uh, finally, the cooler days are here, but we need to know the do's and don'ts of getting our home ready for our cooler months. Yeah, so it's that's, uh, you know, it, it's that time of the year. And so sometimes it's really, really cold. Sometimes it's just cool, but you always want to be prepared. And so we talk about the furnace. So if it does get cold enough, you want to click that on in the morning, just to kind of knock the chill off. Well, let's make sure it's in good working order. Let's make sure that you change the filters as well. So you have good airflow through the home. You may even want to have someone come in and clean the ductwork uh, in the house uh, to make sure you have good quality air coming out. No dust in that area. From a plumbing standpoint, hey, if it gets cold enough and your pipes freeze, you want to make sure you protect the pipes. You want to wrap those if they're outside. Don't want any, any unnecessary burst, busted pipes uh, to flood the house uh, and disrupt your uh, events. And then last but not least, let's take a look at the smoke detectors. Make sure they're in good working order. If something does go wrong, you want to be notified and make sure that you keep your family and your friends safe. All right, some great advice there. We really appreciate you being on the show. And where can we go for more information? Yeah, visit our websites, uh, onehourheatandair.com. BenjaminFranklinPlumbing.com, and then last but not least, MrSparky.com. All right, thank you so much. And of course, you can head to our website, and that is firstcoastliving.net.